Here's my next video. Today I'm going to show how I've added a bullet laser or a laser beam weapon to the player ship. I have created the bullet laser prefab and you'll see that I have made the scale 0.32, 1.7, and 0.32. I'm just playing around with the length of it right now in Y. I have given it a rigid body and made it kinematic and also made it a trigger, the capsule collider. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like and then I'll show you how it's implemented in the bullet laser script and also in the ship script. So I'm going to push number four on my keyboard and here is my laser. It creates a cylinder, it destroys enemies, it also destroys those enemy towers and it does, I uh, should have shown how it does not shoot down the power-ups. So power-ups are fine. It also soaks up enemy bullets as well as mines. So any of that can be changed, but that's how it is right now. And it really drains the battery pack. So that's going to be one of the features too. All right, it's, it's empty. Okay, so let's go over to my scripts. The bullet laser script simply has an on trigger enter and if it runs into an enemy or an enemy bullet it destroys both the laser cylinder and um, the other object. So that's how I can shoot down towers right now. So over in the ship script um, at the top here in start I have added um, the bullet speed, damage, weight, energy cost, and next fire arrays. I'm giving it element uh, 3 here for the laser beam. And you'll see I already have plans to do an ion beam. I'll do that one next. The laser length variable is set here. I'm just playing around with that number again. So down here in uh, the update function I've added Input dot get key down key code dot alpha four. I changed the bullet type to number three. And down here, when I actually shoot with um, case three, bullet type three, I want to check first to see if the laser is already in play uh, because I'm going to create a new cylinder in the exact place as the old one. You can imagine if the ship has not moved. And if that's the case, then um, it could cause some collision problems. So I have a variable, previous laser, it's a game object. And I just check to see if there is a bullet laser clone in the hierarchy. And if there is, it goes into this if statement and destroys the, the laser. And then after that, it's going to create or instantiate a clone. Of projectile 4 which is the bullet laser prefab. I'm just going to put it at transform.position and I'm going to add a vector 3 to it. I want it to shift up some to uh, in the y direction so it does not overlap with the ship any. So I'll have to play around with these numbers. But right now I'm adding 1.5 plus half of the laser length. And then if it's the last time well, I always do this line, destroy clone in 0.01 seconds. So what that does is if it's the, like the last time I'm shooting the laser for whatever reason, then the last um, cylinder needs to be destroyed at some point. And I want it to be a short time because if I move my ship, I don't want the laser to be left behind. So that is how it works.